Hello. I want to talk about awareness, especially when it centers around the sort of mindset that's associated with a statement like, I wish my dog would stop barking, stop jumping up on me, stop getting so excited, stop following me around, stop being so annoying, stop running up and down the fence line, um, would listen to me, would understand what I'm trying to tell them. When we come from a mindset of wishing our dogs would do something or wouldn't do something, then that's pretty silly because it means that we just want that to happen straight away without any investment in any time or any, um, any responsible interaction or proactive action from us, the human. But on the flip side of that, I want you to think about your dog's awareness. Now, our dogs are always watching us when we're with them. They're interested in seeing what's happening next. They want to be with us. They're watching what we're doing. They're looking for when we might be getting up to go or anticipating, is that, does that mean that I'm going to go for a walk? Or what does that mean when you get up? When you're going somewhere, when you're walking somewhere? So your dog's awareness is so much more heightened compared to a human's awareness, especially when we're talking about a reciprocal um, relationship. But most importantly, awareness and being aware means that our action, the way we act, is not going to be compulsive. It's actually going to be thoughtful and compatible with the situation. We're going to be acting in a way that is meaningful from our dog's point of view because we will be aware of the situation. We will be aware of whether we're contributing to our dog's behaviour, whether that's undesirable behaviour or desirable behaviour. But most importantly, when we come from a, a mindset of awareness, it gives us clarity. We see the truth of a situation. We also have empathy and compassion for our dog and that is sitting us right in the mindset of being a guardian for our dog. And when we consider that our awareness might not be so high in a situation, then we can see that that might be because we're ignoring our dog, we're therefore not receptive to understanding what they're trying to communicate to us in that situation. And then we're not actually wanting to seek answers. So that statement, I wish my dog would, really is very limiting and shifts you away from wanting to find answers and also being aware, not just of your dog's behaviour, but of your behaviour and how you interact and react to your dog. But on the, on the other side of that, I want you to think about if dogs could talk, let's just hypothesise this for a minute, if dogs could actually really have a conversation with us, what do you think they might say? They might say, I wish my human would spend time with me. I wish my human wouldn't confuse me or wouldn't yell at me, wouldn't hit me, wouldn't make me stay outside on my own when I want to be with my human social group, my human family. Your dog might actually probably say, I really wish you would let me express the behaviours that I need to do on a daily basis as well as the ones that I prefer to do. But of course, dogs can't talk to us. But it would be, it would be a very big solution to that statement, I wish my dog would, because your dog would be able to tell you exactly why they're not, <laughs> because of the way that you're reacting and the way that you're responding to your dog without awareness of the way you're responding and acting. So when we're coming from a position where we wish our dog would miraculously do something without us having to invest energy or any um, effort whatsoever, that we're, we're actually not reconnecting with our dogs and we're not investing any quality time, of course, with our dog. And that's really unfair because our dogs are living, breathing, pain feeling sentient animals that have emotions just like us. The most damaging thing about that mindset, that position, is it only has an interest and 
that position is only concerned with what the human wants and what the human wants to get out of that situation. And that's good.